I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. In 1966, the Merritt Island Tracking Station, also known as MILA, opened its gates at the Kennedy Space Center to meet the needs of NASA's human spaceflight program. The, the station has served many, many roles uh, thereafter. Um, Apollo Skylab, Apollo Soyuz shuttle, and many, many unmanned missions. But this picture is the Mila tracking station tracking Apollo 8 on the way to the moon. And see, so the initial phase of liftoff was done manually to make sure we didn't go astray. No, NASA cannot launch it out Mila because we are the only uplink. So all those functions of voice, command, telemetry, metric position of where the vehicle is are provided here. Mila supports uh, the shuttle by uplinking commands and voice communications. We have to maintain good data communications and voice communications during the first seven and a half minutes of launch. Mila has always supported this, the space shuttle program since uh, STS-1, the, the first launch uh, back in April 12, 1981 and uh, has continued uh, for the past 30 years supporting every mission. Well, STS-1 was the, the first, first launch, and uh, they asked for volunteers to fill positions. And I'm, I was, at that time, I was a, a servo tech, which means I, I got to drive the antennas. We, uh, we tested like crazy for this launch. We spent, we actually were two weeks, two weeks on 12-hour shifts prior to launch, I, I believe, a week or two weeks. And it, it was, we went over and over and over and over. But just as interesting and intense as launch is, there are also moments that help break the tension. One of the interesting facets of being here at Myla is that we are part of the Merritt Island Wildlife Reserve, which is a preservation of uh, all the wildlife which has been put in place with Kennedy Space Center. And it's very extensive. And uh, when you come in here, there's a warning sign in just inside the main gate which says, know your stakes and avoid them. We had a seven foot rattlesnake. So of course they make the announcement that there is a rattlesnake outside the building. Everybody needs to stay indoors. So what does everybody on swing shift do? We all run outside because we want to take a look at the rattlesnake. I try to have fun, but we are serious doing what we're doing and we enjoy what we do. So I enjoy working with people and, and just having fun with people while we work. And, we accomplish a lot that way. Oh, we put a station up 40 miles to the north at New Smyrna Beach uh, on Coast Guard property there. And uh, it has been a godsend because we were plumed to death in the second minute of flight on the space shuttle. First minute, we we're in the clear here at Milo. The second minute, we we're out of business. So one minute in, we hand up to PDL because the plume I was telling you about with Tetris is also affects the Milo line of sight. So we have PDL, the Ponce de Leon mini station, it's Milo Mini, and they pick it up. So we stay with them for 90 seconds and then we hand back to Milo at 2 plus 30 seconds and then we take it through until it's 7 plus 30 seconds and Tetris takes over. Well, it, it's, a, it's a, a bittersweet moment. I mean, we're coming to the end of a mission. Myla has been extraordinarily successful. We've never held a mission. We've always been ready to support. And we recognize this is the last shuttle mission. Myla is always go. Our plan is green for support. Always go. And that's why I announced, always go. <laughs> Myla status is go. I got to that, Myla favorite thing about my job are green lights. When the lights are solid green and the data is 100%, then it's a, it's a good it's a good day at work. <laughs> we have always been go. When it comes to the call to all stations, we have always been green and go. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 
Zero and lift off, the final lift off of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Well, Milo supports the shuttle for the entire mission, which uh, very often runs uh, 12 to 14 days. So his landing phase includes uh, a pilot's point of view uh, video that, that the uh, commander is looking out his window and sees the runway, and that's what you uh, can see during the landing phase. That comes right, right through Milo. The greatest thing that ever came down the pike as far as I, I'm concerned, and I know the first one I remember well, and I'll, I'll certainly remember the last one well, but it's just another end of an era, just like Apollo program. It's done its job, it comes to an end, and you go on to newer things. After 45 years of continued support to NASA's human spaceflight programs, the Merritt Island Launch Annex has completed its mission. Thank you very much.